subtract the ring. Yeah. You have to hold this side, push with this side, let go. All right. Next step, turn on gauge, make sure it's reading zero. All right, check to make sure that's out. Go ahead and turn it on. All right, hold on. All right, we'll uh, disconnect the test fitting. Push down on this flange and the hose pulls out. We'll connect to the pressure pot. Just by pressing, we are ready to go. Can you still see it? Yes. And I didn't, I should have connected this earlier, but that's all right. So we'll connect the outlet tubing to the pressure pot. And here's where the fun begins. <laughs> So before we uh, apply pressure, we want to make sure the vent on the pressure pot is closed. We want to make sure this valve is closed, the outlet, water outlet is closed. Then we'll uh, turn on the gauge to make sure it reads zero. Turn the gauge, turn the bubble point tester on and then adjust the pressure carefully to 10 PSI. eventually. So now we're pressurizing the pressure vessel. Okay. <laughs> 10 plus or minus 0.1 or 2. I think I said 0.2. Yeah, plus or minus 0.2. So we'll live with the 10.1. That's good. All right. Then, uh, we take our test filter and uh, a beaker. We'll gather our graduated cylinder as well. We attach the, we turn the fitting so that it's facing upward on the outlet tubing. Attach the test filter by installing and twisting until it's uh, tight. All right, then we'll. Uh, Open the water while the filter outlet is facing up to make sure that we don't trap any air in the line. Then once flow is established, we'll uh, turn the filter over. And I think I still air locked it. So that's it. It's nervous about being filmed. <laughs> Hold on. So we'll try again. All right, while the filter is facing up, the idea is that we'll let, if there's any air trapped in there, the air passes through first before the water, mm -hmm. before the water and the membrane, before the water encounters the membrane. All right, we'll try again. See, now we got flow. Mm -hmm. and once the flow is established, you uh, get your trusty, Press the stopwatch and then uh, measure the flow for one minute exactly. At the end of exactly one minute, we'll remove the filter back to the beaker. And then we'll uh, measure the amount of water collected for one minute. Which was uh, 68. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to, while that's doing that, maybe I'll, let me grab the 100. I'll grab the 100 milliliter. All right, after you measure that and record, you dump it into the beaker and repeat the measurement. So we'll stop the watch. And then we'll start it again and measure for one more minute.
right, once it hits 60, we move it off at the same time. I may have, uh... All right, and we'll see if our measurement repeated. And it's about 69, so we're very close. That's good. The value at the bottom of the meniscus. Are you able to see it? Mm -hmm. All right, then we'll stop the flow. We finished the test. I forgot to check the pressure, but we're still good at 9.8. <laughs> I checked it, don't worry. Ah, good. <laughs> the pressure should be pretty stable. And then uh, we'll uh, dump this into the collection beaker. And then we finished. Ta da! We'll rotate that up. Uh, you rotate counterclockwise to remove the filter. And it's on to the next one. So you take the, whoops. Make sure that's closed. The valve is closed. Unscrew the filter to remove it. Then store it in the dish full of water. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> store it in a... Uh, <laughs> that's all right. Store it, store it in water just to make sure that it stays wetted bef bef prior to bubble point testing. And then when we're uh, finished flow testing, right, we adjust the regulator all the way out till the gauge reads zero. Turn the tester off. Open the vent on the vent on the uh, pressure pod just to make sure that it is indeed reading zero. Make sure this is closed and then we'll that is safe. Safe to open. Yes, if we had to, but we're we're finished.